Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be going over more in detail the upgraded Titan Cameraman quest. But before I keep going, shout out of the day goes to the Fuke Noob Official. Thank you for being first and commenting first. Alright, so a lot of you already know about the upgraded Titan Cameraman quest and how difficult it is. And trust me, it's totally worth it. Trust me, trust me, please. But something I've been seeing quite a lot asked to me is, Digi, where do the cogwheels drop? Who drops them? You know, what, what's the whole deal about these things? Well, that's what I'm going to be going over with, with you guys today. All right, so here is a screenshot of the list of how to get the cogwheels. The orange cog is dropped by the transmitter toilet, then cyan, G-Man 2.0, white, G-Man 2.5, the green one is Astro Detainer, the red one is Titan Speaker Man, and then the gray one is G-Man 1.0, or just the basic one. That is the list of who drops them. Now, you gotta remember, it is not always dropped, because there's actually a 10% chance that the cog wheel will drop. I'd say it's 20%. It upped it to 20%. Before it was 10, now it is 20. Now, each of those characters are going to be in different waves. And the waves of those characters are always constant. So, for example, if you're trying to get the, the buzzsaw, I believe it's wave 45. I don't know. But the characters will always spawn in that wave. It's not random. After you get past a certain point, they're always going to be on wave 20 or wave 30. It's not going to be random. The only random part is when the cogwheel will drop. That 20% chance is your, you know, you just hope when you defeat that mini boss or the boss that it will drop for you. So again, that is all. Now, if you're trying to figure out where to find those, if you're, I guess, your list, you can actually go back to the lobby. And if you're on keyboard, like the computer, all you have to do is press M and your inventory will pop up. You can actually also get multiple cogs. You can get two red ones and have three blue ones. You don't actually just get one and it's done. You can get the same ones twice. Another thing y'all been asking me is, Digi, how do we redeem the codes? You just go here down to the cog wheel and then type in the codes here. Codes go here. Ta da Then you just click redeem, and obviously that's not a code. Now another quick update: they've actually in or changed the core blast. Before it used to take a while for it to charge up. Now it is cut really short. It, it fills up really fast now, and then you start taking damage, and you start losing quite a bit of damage as well. Faster, I think. I think it's faster than before. But anyways, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then go ahead and leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the badge hunting squad today. You start code Digi whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and go love badge hunting. Bye-bye.